quarter of a clock. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, I just went over this. Ha ha, funny. Hey, everyone, welcome to November General Bonnie Meeting. Yeah, 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 you got the drill. Uh, what was that squeaking noise? Was that someone? Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that wasn't something coming in here. Um, so we do have a handful of events, as I was saying, for December uh, that are coming up, hopefully. I know that a lot of you all have exams coming up, but there should be another event or two that you all want to see out of this semester. But first of all, we do have a few graduating seniors. One of them is in the room tonight. Andrew has been a Smash Bros community manager for us. Congratulations, graduating with a degree in computer science and engineering. And Lucas, AKA Respawn, has been around the club uh, and the esports program for quite a while. Uh, has been an Overwatch team manager and analyst, uh, especially in the premier side for the past few years, majoring in new media and communication technology. So props to all of you. Uh, congratulations. Um, also on that note, there are like, I, I'm thinking off the top of my head, there are like 10 people that have been in leadership roles that are graduating uh, next spring. Um, so there's gonna be this, there, there's only one slide today, but in the spring, there's probably gonna be like three slides of people. Um, so that'll be a grand old time um, as we say goodbye to seniors. But thank you both uh, for your uh, consistent involvement in the club. Uh, you all have been extremely impactful in your communities uh, here within the collective uh, and within esports in general at Ohio State. Uh, so we thank you for that. All right. Uh, we are powered by Twitch Student, which means a handful of things. And tonight it means that we've got a box of goodies that Will's going to come up here and talk about how you, and by you, I mean those of you in the audience right now, can uh, win a little bit of. Cool. Hello. I'm Will. Hi, Luigi. Go either way. No, Ohio Luigi is his first name. Sorry, yeah, Ohio Luigi slash Will, officially. Yeah. yeah. So today we've got basically some free stuff from Twitch. Um, and all you have to do to be eligible is to fill out that attendance form, which is coming, I believe, like for our meeting here. And then also fill out this Twitch form, uh, which it's optional. If you, but if you want to be a part of the giveaway, you have to do it. Basically, it asks you for, I think, your Twitch username. And then like a school email. And I think that's basically maybe your name. Um, yeah, you have to be in person to be eligible for it. I think we've got today specifically, there's mugs, which will always be there. There's, I think maybe, and then some apparel. I know there's a hat in there at least. Um, we'll see about the specifics later. But yeah, this is basically it. Twitch student, happy to give us free stuff and I'm happy to give it away. So look forward to that. No. Uh, please only fill this form out once. If you've already filled out this form, when we do the attendance form, uh, we'll go ahead. I'll actually end up drawing from the attendance form itself and then double check to make sure that you've already filled this out for us. Um, and then what we'll probably end up doing is we'll just go down a list until there's nothing in the box. Um, Cause I imagine we're not keeping anything, right? Well, right. yeah. Um, so we'll just go down the list uh, when we do randomize it, make sure that you all have filled out both forms. Uh, so please do this. Uh, you can do it now. I assume by the fact that most of you are not holding your phone up at the screen right now that you're taking it care of uh, already. Uh, obviously, the uh, everything here applies to the Twitch privacy policy. Um, so you're providing your information there for all it's worth. And that's that. Um, but we are getting cool stuff uh, as a result of it. So thank you all for uh, supporting that initiative. Uh, for team updates, I don't know where Dana is. So I'm pretty sure I'm the one that's going to get to read this tonight. Uh, check-in or attendance comes at the end, by the way. Um, so don't worry about that for right now. That will come at the end. Yeah, Dana is still not here, which means that I get to read the team updates that I wrote on here uh, a while ago. Woo! Uh, so if I win, then run down, do I qualify? I mean, if you all want to come here now, uh, like make your way on over while you're listening, then that's fine. Um, or you can join later or whatever. Um, but like, if I call your name and you're not in the room, um, no, Grant, I'm not giving you special treatment because I live with you. Um, okay. Team updates, a uh, handful of stuff. A lot of our teams are wrapping up their fall seasons. Um, so 
a lot of good stuff happening overall. Valorant finished middle of the pack in the big time league versus other Big Ten schools. And I believe they'll be advancing to playoffs. Now, I don't know for sure uh, because Matt did not actually get back to me, but that is the assumption that I'm going to take based on the fact that they are above the yellow line. Um, so, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying context clues there. Um, so that's really cool. Looking forward to supporting them and seeing uh, how far they make it into playoffs there. Uh, weird comment here that I probably should have put at the end, but Halo, we might be trying to field a Halo team. There might be a handful of collegiate tournaments coming up for Halo. So if you are interested in being a team manager, kind of coordinating, uh, being kind of a captain, you would be a player or uh, kind of a manager, um, you know, more of a captain where you're simultaneously helping sign up the team for tournaments and playing or just being the manager aspect. You can do either one of those. But if you're interested, please DM Dana on Discord. Uh, the Apex team is in 30 out of 60 in the Spark series. They have matches every Thursday night. So we'll be looking forward to seeing how high they can climb on the leaderboards. But hey, I will take 50%. I'm happy with being average. Um, Rocket League, uh, shout outs to the Beans. Uh, they've had a little bit of a rough semester so far, but they won both back-to-back -back CCA Opens uh, for the final two here to rank first on the East leaderboards overall. So hats off to them. Uh, and the Premier Squad finished seven and two in their NACE Star League division. So actually played quite well. Uh, they finished in like a weird three-way tie for a second where they didn't end up making playoffs, I think. I can't really tell what's going on there. I wasn't paying attention to the Nace Star League format, uh, but they, their, the first place spot was Northwood. So like, eh, you'll have that. Uh, CSGO, uh, they're playing in a bunch of stuff. Uh, they finished fifth in their Nace Star League conference. They're currently seven and six in the ESEA Open. And they're playing uh, in the ESL Challenger Anaheim Qualifier tonight. Um, that starts at 8 p.m. I have no idea if anybody's streaming it. We're certainly not streaming it. Uh, I can tell you that much. Uh, Overwatch Premier finished third in their NACE conference, uh, falling to Illinois three to two. Very close fought games there. Hearthstone, uh, Scarlet is three and one in season. Wait, I, I feel like that was left over from last, last, uh, last month. Oh, well, uh, I'm sure Hearthstone's doing well. Uh, and then League of Legends. Premier is in the Nace Starley JV playoffs. Uh, they have a match tonight at 8 p.m. Once again, I have no idea if that is being casted anywhere. Uh, but of course, I will try to find it and put it on Twitter or ping the League of Legends role in the Discord server. Uh, for voting members, uh, Caleb, I presume you're online if you would like to unmute uh, and run over this for the fourth time, uh, hopefully, all of you have seen this before because hopefully you've been here before. But if you're new, uh, we do have a few rules on how to vote for executive board elections, which are coming up. So, Caleb, if you're online, take it away. Is he online? Okay. No, Caleb's definitely, uh, there. Caleb's there. Hang on. Caleb, we cannot hear you at all. And I just texted that, and it's definitely your end because I'm coming through on my own iPad. Hello, hello. Hey, there he is. All right. Um, Wait. Hello. I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right. Sorry. Don't know what's going on. Zoom is not liking me right now. Uh, but anyways, voting members. So once again, I get the most important slide. Everyone loves voting member slide. But the important thing is that for you to become a voting member for this next election, um, you have to attend this meeting as well as all of the ones in the spring. So 
um, these uh, the attendance form is going to stay up for a week uh, and you'll be able to watch it on our YouTube and get the attendance form off that if you're not here in person today or on Zoom or if you have friends that missed it, make sure to let them know. Um, but yes, just like we have said before, you have to attend at least half the general body meetings for the year. So that means this one plus the whole spring. You have to be an active part of the club in some capacity, e-board, staff, uh, teams, or just be an overall coming to the events um, at all of our events or most of our events and stuff like that, you know, just be active fundraising event. Who knows if we're going to do that. Um, but anyways, the big thing is you have to attend from here this today on out. Um, and that's the big thing about voting members. Um, it's today on out. If you have not attended any of the other meetings already. So if you already have a handful in your pocket, or if you've attended all four so far, you don't need to worry about this at all. Uh, and attendance can be either in person, can be via Zoom, or it can be by watching the recording for up to a week after, except spoiler alert, I actually didn't close the last form until literally today when I looked at it. So it happened to be for a month after. Um, so please make sure you are doing that. Please make sure you're filling out those forms. If you're confused about where you stand, please let me know. Uh, I am not going through the process of actually accumulating everyone that is a voting member. Um, but I can certainly do that and I can certainly let you all know if you are confused in terms of where you stand or what else you need to do. Uh, and of course, this is always a good time to mention, if you're curious about running for executive board, what that looks like, feel free to send me a message, hit me up, happy to talk about it uh, whenever possible. But if you are looking for other ways to get involved, we do have a handful that uh, Caleb wants to shout out and then I have another one as well. Uh, so Caleb, go ahead and take it away. Yeah, so... Um... The uh, getting involved in the club level. So a big thing is my section. So social media coverage, broadcast, graphic designs, um, content creation, or even if you want to help out in some of our uh, diversity and inclusion events that we do, find your duo with Allison. We're looking for a lot of people in my section specifically, but we're also looking for more community managers. Or if you want to get involved in any of the games, the teams, any game you can think of, if you want to manage it, you absolutely can. And just like it says on there, we are student driven and student led. Everything we do is by students. So if you're a student, we are too. We get it. Um, it can be hard. But if you want to get involved, please uh, let one of us know and rather we can redirect you into the right spot. Or if you go look on the email I sent out, I sent out a few um, specific individuals that you can reach out to if you're interested in any of those specific stuff. Yeah. Um, and, and going off of that, uh, Ben's got a comment in the chat that I am going to read because it sounds important. DM me on Discord if you're interested in becoming a community manager. Yeah, um, a lot of different things that you can do, right? Between social media coverage, if you're like really into a specific game and you want to see us talk about it more on Twitter, uh, then we can get you involved there. If you are really passionate about trying to, you know, bring out players and bring out narratives on a broadcast, we can get you involved there. Community managers, if you want to try to foster and grow a community of folks with our brand, we're more than happy to do that for your specific game. At the end of the day, this is a collective of a bunch of different folks that are playing a bunch of different games. And we also understand that. So a lot of these roles can also be very specific and fine tuned to whatever game that you might be interested in. Uh, the only like stipulation is like, I do wanna make sure we're not like completely wasting our time. And by that, I mean like, you know, let's make sure that we have a decent amount of an audience before we just like dive into a completely new territory, right? Um, so let's make sure that there's enough community-wide interest for maybe more of a halo presence or maybe more of, uh, I don't know what else there is. Um, like Splatoon is a great example. I would love it if there was a Splatoon team, but not only do I not have enough time to be the team manager and a club president, uh, but I also don't know if there's a lot of people that would be interested in competitive Splatoon here at Ohio State um, and competing in, on a BGC team, Splatoon team copium. Thank you, Nishan. Um, so, you know, lots of different things that we can do though, overall, if you're confused, want to try to get involved, please let us know. Other thing that I wanted to shout out, uh, the University Esports program, uh, it's been a little quiet lately, but, but that's changing. Yours truly is the live stream coordinator, uh, a student manager over there now, um, and, we are now have applications out for the broadcast crew this coming semester. So you're primarily, we're looking at casters, 
uh, as well as directors and producers and operations managers, all these sorts of things for League of Legends, Overwatch, and Rocket League. If you are interested in those titles and you're interested about working in broadcast, please fill out that form. Um, if you're confused about anything you see on that form, please come talk to me and let me know. Happy to be as much of a resource there as possible. But at the end of the day, A, you don't really need to be experienced in any three of those games to be involved. And B, um, well, I mean, if you want to talk about the games, you should probably know what you're looking at. But outside of that, there are other roles. Um, there are other roles that you can get involved with uh, if you're not as familiar with those games. But in addition, there are a bunch of behind the scenes roles as well as in front of camera roles. So if you're a little bit more shy, don't be afraid of not being on camera. Uh, that is not something that you have to be involved with. So uh, obviously that opportunity exists. It's a fantastic opportunity to work with the formal, like a university sponsored program, uh, which should be a lot of fun. And again, I'm gonna be the one that's kind of more or less in charge of it. Um, so we'll see how that goes overall. Uh, but like I said, happy to be a resource there as well. Uh, but if you're interested in like other games, for example, one of the larger ones being Valorant, we also have CSGO. These other games also have broadcast presences that you can get involved with within, within the club as well. Um, and overall, not a ton of experience is necessary to start getting involved if you're really passionate or looking for the passionate folks that can do this stuff. So if you're passionate, you want to see something grow, even if it's very niche, let's try to make it happen. Uh, we want to try to let that happen. I'm putting out this call now so that you have a little bit of time to think about it, and then maybe we can start getting you on onboarded over break. Um, minor board folks, um, I probably should have pinged you a little bit ago. We're probably going to have a meeting the Tuesday we come back from break. Uh, that's kind of very similar to the first meeting we had at the beginning of the year. Uh, so it'll be in person. I'll be sitting up here probably blabbing on about some stuff. It'll feel like a lecture. You'll be like, yeah, shut up, Kenneth. Um, but I do want to try to get you all more involved as well. Um, so please mark that on your calendars. Um, and we'll bring this up here again in a moment. But it'll be a general body meeting on Monday when we return. And the Tuesday we return will be a minor board meeting. Um, so those of you that need to attend, you'll, you'll know if you need to attend or not. Um, but uh, speaking of events coming up, boy, do we have a lot this week. Um, most of the stuff that we're going to talk about today is literally just this week. Uh, and there is probably a game that interests you in some form or fashion. First thing is the Ohio State Contenders Cup. Mainline reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to run a tournament? So I said, or hey, can we run a tournament for you? And so I said, yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, they're giving away quite a bit of prizing stuff, as you see there. Uh, good luck with that, because I think the beans and the legumes are both playing. Um, but could be a fun little night. One more go around with your last season's Buck RL team. Uh, registration for that closes in just under 24 hours at tomorrow at 7 p.m. So if you're interested in playing on Wednesday, please make sure that you are registering for that. Uh, I believe it's going to be streamed by the mainline crew, but I don't know that for sure. I'll definitely be sure to double check on that. Uh, and of course, you will be able to follow through with that in Discord via the Rocket League channel by giving yourself the I play Rocket League role. Um, so again, Rocket League tournament. It's Wednesday. Registration closes tomorrow. Make sure you do that. Uh, but for more on events, I'm going to hand it over to Ben, uh, who is on Zoom for us. Maybe. Yeah, um, I'm here. Cool. All right. So if I can see around the blotches on the uh, Zoom screen, since it's only it's only actually screen sharing like uh, the slides, but that's fine. Oh, I can see it now. Cool. All right. So December 1st, Rocket League Contenders Cup. Um, I believe this is being hosted outside of organization. This is a mainline event. So I think this is something that Kenneth would know more about. It's the thing I literally just talked about, Ben. Yes, that thing. I pay attention. Um, December 3rd, Halo Big Battle. So some of you guys may have heard there's this thing called Halo Infinite. I don't know. It's, it's kind of indie. But, you know, there's a little bit of a growing community for it. You know, maybe nothing, nothing much. But, you know, just in case you're interested, we're doing a thing uh, this Friday, 7 p.m., uh, doing some rotating game modes, just doing some big battle. Hey, 
Also, um, I check there. Um, I believe Halo now works on the machines in Lincoln. Um, good. So, good. Yeah. so uh, if you want to show up in person, you can do that too. Yeah, because um, that was a problem we had for a while. I, I knew that um, we had a problem with graphics drivers or something, but people were having a uh, not so fun time with the game um, crashing on those machines. So hopefully that works now. Yeah. Um, and then um, December 4th, I guess we are relabeling the Smash by Weekly series to Smash the Union. All right. Um, so doors open at 3 p.m. Um, starts at 4.30. Great Hall meeting room one and two in the Ohio Union. This will be our last Smash event of the year, and hopefully we'll be posting a new schedule soon um because we do have all the ones scheduled for next semester at this point so um you can check um, probably go ahead the other thing i will say for smash brothers folks there's also a tournament that happens every wednesday at game arena on gateway uh feel free to come on by for that and support the smash brothers team they're normally pretty there uh i don't know ask comment if you want more details uh what's the start 9 p.m 8 p.m doors open at six there it is um so that's another thing. I don't include it here because it happens every week. <laughs> but it is a thing that happens. All right, continue, Ben. Sorry. Sure. All right. Um, so that's going to be our last one of the of the year, and so we'll have the we'll have the uh, the schedule for next semester hopefully posted sometime this winter in the Smash Discord, and then I'll try to pin it in the BGC Discord in the Smash channel so that that's available. And December 5th, we got a uh, rivalry day against uh, that school up north. And, uh, you know, we're better at esports than we are at football, right, guys? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 So come out, support the boys um, so that we can have a better, uh, a better Sunday than uh, this past Saturday. Yeah. And um, that will be our last major event of the series for the year. And uh, we wish you good luck on your final exams coming up December 10th through 16th. If you didn't know that was happening, hope you're attending your classes. Um, so <laughs> good luck on that. And um, looking forward to seeing you January 10th at our next general body meeting. See you then. Yeah. Um few comments uh i'll talk more about the rivalry day in a second um we might do some in something informal on december 9th in the lincoln arena december 9th historically those of you that might be joining us for the first year is reading day which basically means there are no classes and you're supposed to study for the whole day come on lame it's also a thursday if you don't have any exams on friday what's the point like who cares well Sorry about your luck, but for the rest of us, um, maybe we can play some Halo on that first air. I don't, I don't know. Um, to be on the lookout for that as well, might just do something informal. Also, if you see me there, tap on my head, see what I'm playing. I don't know. Um, also, the January 10th date has an asterisk on it. Uh, I have not actually reserved that room. I get to wake up at 8 a.m. on a Wednesday and try to reserve that room. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can do it. Um, but I will keep you all in the loop for that it is going to be the monday we get back so to give you a brief overview of the general body meetings for spring semester they are typically going to be the first monday of the month not the last monday of the month. reason for that is because we do one in january one in february one in march and then the first monday in april is e-board elections followed by the week after we'll do one final meeting uh to end off the year so that's going to be the hopefully schedule. Uh, we will be trying to reserve those rooms, and I'll be getting you guys the schedule as soon as I can. General body meetings, as per normal, will be either here or next door or wherever, wherever the heck the other one is. Um, and so we'll be uh, trying to do that uh, as well. Hopefully, we're not going to schedule one for like 9.30 p.m. because, boy, was that late. Um, but all right, cool. Uh, rivalry day versus... Yes, I cr still crossed out the X's. 
by the way, whoever on eboard crossed or uncrossed the X's, I have a bone to pick. Um, because I spent a lot of time crossing that three of them. Um, But we, we've got this. We've got this all week. Anyway, it's going to be a marathon on Sunday, uh, 2 p.m. to 10 or 11 p.m., whenever the best of three of League of Legends ends. Um, the games that we're playing are tentative, but that is looking like it's going to be the lineup. Um, so regardless of whether or not you actually know these games i would encourage you to come on by and cheer on the squads it should be a good time in the twitch chat a lot of times as well we'll have a caster from osu and a caster from um get that banter back and forth should just be a good time overall tell your friends try to support uh the osu squad going up against that those teams up north um yeah should be a good time overall uh, but definitely make sure that you are tuning into that uh, would love your support there uh, is a fun event for what it's worth. Uh, the history of this series is one and one. So this will be the third iteration and the tie breaking iteration. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if we can try to take that should be a good time. Uh, other thing I want to mention really briefly in terms of gaming events that are happening off of campus, except not that far from campus. Uh, there's a Valorant land that's happening this weekend over at Game Arena, um, and it's actually the one that's on Gateway down by here, where the Smash Brothers events are hosted uh, on Wednesdays and the like. Uh, it's December 3rd through December 5th. Spectator tickets are there as well. You can take a look at that QR code, uh, but the Game Arena folks have uh, worked with us in the past. We might try to do a secondary stream for that, um, but... We're kind of in the process of getting that all situated and squared away. That's just another thing that's happening again this week, because why wouldn't we have more happening this week? Um, all right, this is the part where I shut up and let you all fill out the attendance forms. Go ahead and pull out your phones uh, and fill out that general body attendance form. There is the Twitch student raffles as well. And hopefully this QR code actually works this time and sends you to the actual form instead of the editing one. Uh, also, if you have any questions at this time, I am happy to take care of those while you all fill out the forms. Uh, we'll wait a second while you all do that, uh, and then we will uh, go ahead and do the raffles uh, and then get you out of here. Uh, I don't have anything fun planned. Sorry. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any ideas left. Minor board folks, please think of fun ideas to do during general body meetings um for like social activities because i'd like to get people talking with one another and i i've already done kahoot i've already done uh something else it's the other thing we could do is like a bingo or something where you have to run around and talk to people um. <laughs> uh We'll zoom in. Well, not my problem. No, iOS does not let you zoom in. I mean, that's Galaxy. Um, Nishan, I'll go back to the event slide in a bit. Oh dear. No, there's a button for it. Use the button. I don't care. There's a button for it. There's your events, Nishant. Hurry up and take a photo of it. Okay, no shot, your time is up. Okay. Uh, escape. And goodbye to the uh, recording folks. Um, 
stop recording.